A new integrated facility housing, a nursing home, senior care centre and preschool has been launched by a church in Dover. The St John's, St Margaret's or SJSM Village is the second such ground-up initiative here and will cater to up to 500 children and seniors. It hopes intergenerational activities such as exercise sessions and even shared meal times will benefit both the young and the old. Heidi Ng with this story. Most of the colourings hung around the new St. John St. Margaret's nursing home are the proud handiwork of resident Madam Lim Cho Hoon. The 79-year-old has called this place home for half a year now. She requested to move here after her husband passed away. Quite okay, la, good. La. The nurses are very good. She hasn't had the opportunity to interact with the children from the preschool next door just yet. But this is exactly what the new SGSM village is working on. Regular interactions between the two groups from next year. I'm happy to go. If the children come, I'm happy to play with them, talk with them. The idea to create an intergenerational space was sparked nine years ago. To learn more, the church studied two such facilities in Tokyo and Seattle. They actually could see medical benefits from the elderly having interaction with very young children in their facility. So we could see that the, the, uh, there are benefits for the elderly health-wise, you know, it's measurable. And there are also benefits for the children. They have become more mature, they become more used to what society is like. So they grow into that. And these benefits could come from something as simple as having both children and the elderly exercise together. Touring the new village, Second Minister for Health Masago Zulkifli says it's a good example of how all generations can be involved in care for the aged. Just as it takes a village to raise a child, we now all know it takes society to support our elderly. What does such a society look like? Families working closely with providers to design ways to provide the necessary support for the aged parents, both at home and at the centres. Volunteers proactively befriending isolated elderly in the community and linking them to relevant partners and programmes. Thanks to volunteers from a co-located church, there are currently over 200 helpers at the SGSM village, a stronger showing than at other homes under the St Andrews Nursing Homes cluster.